This is Angela with Danceable Thoughts, and this is the morning rev time to rev you up, get you ready for your day, lead you to a revelation that will help you recognize the path of greatness. I'm pretty sure you're already traveling. So speaking of traveling, and I've been talking about Halloween and giving some history uh, that I found on thekitchen.com, I also found out something amazing that up until about the 1940s, that Halloween was all about the tricks and the pranks. It was all about the the little mischief that kids could get into. And it was only some resourceful parents who in our modern day wordage might say that they decided to redirect their behavior and reward them with positive consequences of treats. Well, beyond all of that, what I was also struck by in that little bit of history was that you think about it in that time frame, there wasn't the mass produced candy that the treats that people might receive and gratefully, I might add, were things like nuts and maybe a coin or two, and they would be possibly something handmade by the family. Now, we have made lots of progress in the world, but we have to now understand that we have to be super careful. You can't even have a bake sale with handmade goods. You have to be very conscientious of health codes and, and uh, people's restrictions and that stuff. But I want you to take that thought today and maybe go home and seek out an, you know, an opportunity to make a handmade treat of something. It doesn't even have to necessarily be something edible. But what can you do to make time in your schedule to make something special to give as a gift to not probably not every trick-or-treater that comes to the door, but maybe some of the special people who desire, do, really deserve a treat in their life. Making something handmade and special to share with them not only says, I was thinking about you, but I was thinking about you, and I did this act of service. I created this for you. It's a great thing to also share with your kids. If you've got um, little people in your house, let them help you with the cooking and then let, help, let them help you with the sharing. And that will double the fun and make the tricking less important and the treating that much more rewarding.